Violence against children is a pervasive problem very close to home, with six out of every ten children in the country suffering one or more forms of physical, sexual or emotional violence before they reach 18. More than 70% experience this violence repeatedly. One out of two suffer from physical violence and one in six girls suffer emotional violence. Mostly, the perpetrators are not strangers and the violence often takes place where the child should be safe. These findings from the National Survey on Violence Against Children, published by the National Population Commission, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and UNICEF, were a catalyst for action. On the 15th of September 2015, President Muhammad Dubwari committed to ending violence against children, launching a year of action, calling on not only the government, but also NGOs, religious leaders and groups, the media and every Nigerian to take action to ensure no children have to grow up in the shadow of violence. National priority actions were also launched, setting out key steps that were needed to more effectively pre prevent and respond to all forms of violence against children. Now to our focus segment, joining us from our Abuja studio is Mr. Roti Miolawale, Director, Youth Hub Africa. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to join you today. How best can we protect our children? Well, well, I think to protect the Nigerian children, there are a number of things that we need to do. One is to ensure that the uh, policy environment is right. We have the adequate sets of policies and laws in place to protect our children, and we have already started working on that. We have the Nigerian Child Rights Act that has been passed by the National Assembly in 2003 and has also been domesticated in about two dozen states across uh, the country. We have 11 or 12 states in Nigeria that have not domesticated uh, the child rights bill into law. When that is done, we now need to focus on implementation. How do we ensure that our uh, kids are safe everywhere they go, in their own homes, from their own parents, uh, in the neighborhood, in school, and the children that roam the streets that are not in school? How do we ensure that they are safe? And how do we implement these laws? These are the things that we need to put forward. Now, for the states that are yet to domesticate this, uh, what would you say is holding them back? Why, why, has it, uh, why haven't we seen... Uh, this domesticated across board? Well, interestingly, uh, of the 11 or 12 states that have not passed the child rights bill into law, all these states are in northern Nigeria. And some of the issues that have uh, bordered around the non passage of this into law is about uh, some cultural issues that have been identified. And that's also around, um, also about the um, awareness about the child rights bill in its sense and also again priority for the lawmakers to push this bill forward. Uh, stakeholders are working assiduously high to ensure that this is passed into law. The last state that passed it, uh, Kaduna State signed the child rights bill into law uh, by the governor uh, April last year when it was passed by the State House of Assembly. Work is being done in other states to ensure that this is done. There are some issues that have been identified. Uh, I think the biggest issue for me is how do you define a child? This is one of the biggest issues that people have, um, have had issues with in, in northern Nigeria. How do you define a child? And we have, in some places, people have raised questions on issues of child marriage. Well, that, that's quite interesting. Now, speaking of um, parents, because oftentimes when something happens to a child, um, at least the, the ones that we know that are children, people ask, where are the parents? Where were the parents when this or that happened? You know, so what role would you say parents play in all of this? And, you know, re with regards to the topic violence against children, what can you say about this? Well, I, I think that one of the things we need to understand is that uh, violence against children, um, in, in the area that it happens the most, is even from very close family and relatives. So sometimes children face violence in their own neighborhood, in their own homes. And so we need to continue to sensitize parents. Parents play a key role in ensuring that uh, their children are safe. But in a country where poverty remains high, uh, parents are out looking for how to make ends meet, then this becomes a difficulty. We also need to charge government to ensure that there are, there are immediate remedies and opportunities to address violence against children. If you identify violence against children in your neighborhood, what can the average citizen do? Are there toll-free lines to call to ensure that the children are taken care of? Are there child welfare uh, officers that can be uh, deployed to go and check on the children and ensure they are safe. These are the things that we need to put in place to guarantee the safety of, of our children and also to embed it within our educational system. In a case where we have over 10 million out of school children roaming the streets, it's also an indication uh, that violence against these children would be high. 
All right, thank you very much, Mr. Rotimi Olawale, Director, Youth Hub Africa, for sharing your thoughts with us.